Hello gorgeous, how are you guys doing today? If you're new to my channel, my name is Gloria and if you're old, thank you so much for coming back. I love you guys so so much. Today I have another exciting video. I'm going to be showing you guys how to make a dough mat. It's a DIY. Well, as much as you're excited, you have to put in mind that DIYs seem to be simple. They seem to take a little time, but oh my god, they do take some time. So you need to have like 30 minutes or an hour or more than an hour on your plate and we just jump right into the video. By the way, I'm recording this video on Valentine's Day, that's why I'm wearing red. I don't have a Valentine, so I'm at home anyway recording a YouTube video as usual. Anyway, let's just jump right into the video. For this project, you need a sack or a non-slip grip liner, yarn, scissors, and a crochet hook. Yes, I'm going to be putting the yarn aside so that I go ahead and use the sack. We are going to be cutting a shape that we want from the sack. I know you have that shape in mind, so go ahead and cut that shape so that we can go ahead and do the next step. So first, we are going to be making the pom-pom. This is how you make the pom-pom. You get a thread tight around your wrist. Do the same thing over and over until you get the desirable size. So after that, you're going to cut another thread that is around 6 inches or 5, depending on what you want. Then tie it around the pom-pom. I did tie it twice. Yeah, but you can always tie it like once so that you can secure it. And then get the remaining threads that are long. Don't cut them off and start to cut through. The rest is just going to be there, like the way you see it in the video. So this is a step I missed on the first one. You get your pom-pom, put it in your palm, and then start to shape it around. You cut off the excess one so that it can look like as if it's on the same level. Yeah. So you are going to continue making the pom-poms until you get the desired amount of the pom-poms. So here we are. I have already the ones that I want. So we are going to go ahead and do what we need to do. That is putting the pom-poms on the sack. So first I had to put my two sacks together because when I tried using one, it wasn't working. My sack was weak. Everything was falling out. So I had to join them together using glue from the hot glue gun. If you happen to make a decision of using the sack, you can as well like do the same thing that I've done. But I think the best way to do it is to get a non-slip grip liner. If you like, if you are able to get access to it, then that would be the best option. First, you get your crochet hook, find a hole, push through it, and then you remember the other two 
threads that you left, like the ones that were long, yes, those are ones that you're going to need. You're going to use your crochet hook to pull through those threads so that they can pass through at the back. And then you're going to tie them around. Exactly. You need to pull them and then they pass through and then tie them. I was so extra. I tied them more than once because I had a feeling that they will fall out. Yeah, but uh, do the best that you can do. So here I'm going to try to fill in the ones that have a little bit of space though it's not that obvious. And voila, we are done. I'm going to show you the second way to do it. And to me, that is the best way to do it. So for this part, you've already seen in the first part, I'm just putting the hot glue so that I can have somehow a clean finishing. Yeah, but this one, we are going to be using hot glue. I, I thought about this after using like the crochet hook. Oh my God, it gave me a hard time. Like I did use it, then they try to come and fall out. It's not, I don't think that it's the most secure way to do it if you are going to do this i would advise you to use the hot glue surely that is way way better than using a crochet hook because trust me i've done them both and i know this is the better one so i'm trying to come up with the design that i want i kind of want a heart but my art is not the best so mm -hmm. let's see how it turns out i think the crochet hook is better if you have a non-slip grip gri non-slip grip liner sorry but if you're using a sack, you need a hard sack, not a weak one. Because when you use a weak one, they tend to fall out. Like whatever you put in, it tends to fall out. And that is not something that you want. Trust me on that. Yeah, so if you are opting for a sack, then get a glue gun. Yeah, so let's go ahead and just, you know, enjoy the video. Follow along, please. Well, at this point, we can all agree that DIYs take some time. Yeah, I did run out of the pink, so I ended up adding the white. I didn't like it, but it is what it is. We are done. Thank you so much, guys, for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Turn on the notifications bell so that you can be notified every time I post a new video. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. And if you're going to try this DIY, please tag me. I would love to see what you guys have done. Until next time, guys, I love you so much. Adios. Bye.